Today's day 24. What do you believe can be done in the 100 days? What do you believe can be done in year one? Uh, uh, well, I'm a, I'm a major optimist. I think that day 24, maybe by day 25, we'll have an $800 billion recovery bill passed with all those things. That, that, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, you know, if you think about where he's gone on the executive side, uh, let me just uh, uh, start there for a second. You know, he's uh, given the order to begin the process of closing Guantanamo. He's uh, uh, reorganized the interrogation techniques of, 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 of the United States. He's uh, made major uh, efforts and initiative to uh, change uh, energy and, uh, and environmental policy by uh, by um, sending the memorandum to the secretary to the administrator of the EPA to get on with the task of granting the waiver of the uh, California tailpipe emission standard to uh, to to the secretary of transportation to to uh, complete the 2011 CAFE uh, increase in standards so we'll have more efficiency in our auto fleet uh, and I think the list goes on of things that he's doing from using his executive authority to try to move his agenda forward. Uh, in the course of the next, uh, you know, I think uh, the experience since probably President Reagan has been this first budget is really an important blueprint and will lay the foundation for uh, what is going to happen in the future. It is where President Clinton, I think, uh, uh, got the most traction uh, and, and Mac deserves enormous credit for one vote in the House, one vote in the Senate, passing an economic program that I think led to a very strong uh, economic growth in this country. Uh, it's uh, President Bush, in his first budget, got the, his tax cuts through. I think what you'll see in, in the President's budget, again, are these investments and these key priorities. And I think that uh, however they proceed in the legislative uh, body, I think there's an a excellent chance of getting health care reform done and done uh, within the first year of his presidency. And I think we'll see uh, further action on energy and climate uh, during the course of the first year. Uh, Chairman Waxman said he wants to uh, produce an energy climate uh, bill by the Memorial Day recess. So I think those are the, those are the big domestic priorities. There's obviously, you know, there's a laundry list of things that need to, need to happen in the, in the national security and foreign policy side as well. But uh, on the domestic side, I see uh, the, the, the follow-on action in the budget, uh, trying to make some of these middle-class tax cuts permanent, reform the way uh, we tax people in the country. You know, those are the big challenges, and I think they can be accomplished in the first year. Now, given that you're an admitted optimist, Jerry, uh, what do you believe can be done on health care in your work? Uh, well, I think that, you know, look, I, I think there's no question, that, you know, that, that um, uh, the, you know, we, the, the, the transition wasn't flawless. You know, we hit the bump in the road with, with Senator Russell's nomination uh, being withdrawn. Uh, but I think, I'm, I'm actually, this is a place where the Congress was, was laying the groundwork, getting ready to try to do uh, a major reform of our health care system, to try to expand coverage, control costs, focus on uh, uh, wellness and disease prevention, and get, that, get the systems in place to, uh, to do the research that are necessary to push things down. So comprehensive uh, health care reform that includes a major coverage expansion. Uh, in, in my view, that ought to include everybody. Uh, we'll see whether the Congress can digest that or not. Uh, I think that can happen this year. And I think that he'll, uh, in, in the coming days, pick a Secretary of uh, Health and Human Services. They may, you know, obviously Senator Daschle was going to wear both hats, the health reform off. Had, uh, office head in the White House as well as HHS. Whether they decide to split those jobs, I think it's still a major priority. I saw the Senate caucus. They're already, he's already issued his white paper. There's work that's been uh, pre-done in the House to, to move a bill forward. So I think there's uh, the opportunity to do it, and uh, hopefully on a bipartisan basis, but I think that, that there's, uh, you know, the ideas are there. We need to put them on the table, start debating them, and try to get them done. And what do you think could be done on energy and climate change in year one? Um, uh, I think we can see a national renewable electricity standard put in place, which is an early uh, action item. Uh, I think we can uh, take some steps forward beyond what we've already seen to 
uh, to make the right sort of investments in uh, in uh, efficiency and the, and the, the so-called smart grid. Uh, that could that could I think move forward as as perhaps separate energy legislation. And then I think that. Uh, the, the, the president will remain committed to a cap and trade system for uh, carbon emissions, and uh, you know I'm, I'm hopeful that that can be debated and and, uh, and be resolved. It, it obviously stalled in the Senate last year, but I think that there's a reasonably good chance. I think the the, uh, the forces are aligned. There's good business community support as well as uh, support from the environmental community, the religious community, etc., to try to deal with the the extremely serious generational challenge of climate change, and I think that there's uh, there's every chance that he, with his leadership, that can get over the finish line. Okay. 